These are 10 money lessons that I wish I had learned sooner because if I had, it would have saved me a lot of time and a lot of money. Actually, this is, this is fake money. It says for motion picture use only, but you get the idea. This video is sponsored by Hippo but more on them later. You need a scalable job. I didn't even know what this meant until a couple years ago. And once I realized this, it, it completely changed how I thought about work. I've always kind of traded my time for money and I never really thought about how having a scalable job can absolutely change everything. And then reading a couple different books, I honestly don't remember which one it was from. I learned about this idea of a scalable job. This is something where you can put the same amount of effort in, but the results will get bigger and bigger and you won't be capped on how much you can make. Like with a salary job that I had before, didn't matter how much I worked, I could only earn a certain amount. I found out that you can leverage yourself and you can really earn exponentially more than you could if you find a job that is scalable, which is generally starting your own business, being a business owner, or it might be something like sales, where you have no cap on how much you can make. You could earn nothing or you could earn life-changing amounts. Over-focusing on money. Now, for a lot of us, myself included, I've always been a little bit overly focused on money and kind of the end goal. Like, like once I have this amount in the bank, then I'll be happy. Once I earn this amount, then I'll be happy. Once this relationship goes a certain way, I'll be happy. But always looking for something else to find uh, happiness or joy or fulfillment or whatever you're looking for in something else, always. But when you talk to most millionaires and successful people, a lot of them don't wish that they had, you know, a million more dollars. They wish that they could have gone back and enjoyed the process more, spend more time with their friends and family and not been so focused and, and driven and spent every minute of every day focusing on just more money. Because for most people, while more money will fix some of your problems, it won't fix all of your problems. And I know for me, I spent like, five years working days, you know, full-time job, and then side hustle, also building this YouTube channel, uh, investing in real estate, just all the different things that I was doing. And I didn't really have time for anything else. And therefore I missed out on a lot of different things. So I think it would have been good to maybe get to where I got like a, a year later, but have enjoyed that process a little more. Don't always be frugal. Now, don't get me wrong, frugal living has completely changed my life and I'm still uh, pretty frugal compared to most people. And that's mostly because if I spend less, then I have to earn less and therefore work less. And I'm a, a generally a, a pretty lazy person, so uh, I'm a fan of working less. But I do think that I skimped out a little bit too much, kind of similar to what I was talking about before. Well, I was extremely focused on earning more and constantly thinking about more. I was also extremely focused on spending less and I skimped out a, a little bit too much on some important things during those past couple years. And I still have an extremely hard time spending money on myself. It's easier to do it a little bit now on my business. Um, but before it was even really hard on my business, I would buy like the cheapest laptop I could. And then like six months later it would break and I would get a slightly more expensive one that was still cheap. And then I like six months later it would break again until I would finally get the one that would actually work and it would end up being way more expensive because the first couple didn't work. Of course, uh, it doesn't even open anymore. All right. Of course, then I spilt water on it and, uh, and apparently that broke. And it's been like three months and I still haven't gotten another one. So um, maybe I'll get another one once we hit 250K subscribers. So subscribe. <laughs> maybe I'm still struggling there with this where uh, I, I'd have a hard time spending money on myself. It's so much easier for other people. Or, But I do think it's important and something that I really wanna focus on it is spending more on travel, on family, on date days, on, on just buying back some of our time so we can have more time to do the things that are enjoyable. And while being frugal is really important, it's also important to enjoy the process and enjoy your life. And that was something that uh, I've had a hard time doing until recently. And, and kind of going along with this, before we get into the rest of the video, I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, Hippo. Now, most of you know that I love real estate and house hacking. And home insurance through Hippo helps you protect those things that you care about so much by being proactive instead of reactive. And this can help you prevent small things from turning into big problems, which can end up costing you a lot of time and uh, a lot of money. And as we all know, I love saving money. 
All right, I gotta, I gotta stop throwing this because then I have to pick it up. Now you can get a quote from Hippo inside of one minute and a policy inside of five. So it's super quick and easy. And they offer complimentary smart devices for eligible customers that may actually generate a discount on your insurance premium. And again, who doesn't love saving money? The smart devices can include a smart camera, a smart smoke detector, so you know, you know if your your house is burning down. Whatever this thing is called that alerts you when your door opens, and this that goes in your water heater pan. Hippo customers that get the smart home discount can save up to 10% per year with a self home monitoring system, and up to 13% with professional monitoring. Now Hippo is the number one pick for over 200,000 homeowners in the U.S. and they just received five out of five stars in a Nerd Wallet ranking. So upgrade to smarter home insurance through Hippo for next level proactive detection. You can check them out with the link down in the description and get a quote in under a minute. Now let's go back to the video. Build cash flow over income. Now when I've had very little uh, money, this kind of seems like a dream, like you hear about it in Rich Dad Poor Dad from all these different people about building cash flow and buying assets and you're like, that can't really happen. It's not something that I can really do. Um, but I, I really should have focused on that sooner because it absolutely is possible. Uh, the more I have met people in, in different spaces, especially successful people, a lot of them have automated relatively uh, cash flow from different places. Because if you focus on just growing your income, moving to a better job, working more hours so you can get a promotion, the higher up you move, even though you, you might be earning more money, like what's the point of earning half a million or a million dollars a year if you're working 80 hours a week and you can't like actually enjoy your life or spend time with your family? It, like it's just not something that really appeals to me at all. And this was a huge like relief when I finally understood that that's something that I can actually do. I can actually build different streams of income from YouTube, from rentals, from different side projects that I do that don't rely on me showing up somewhere to work every single day and honestly like it's it's such a more fun existence for me because I like I don't know I have different problems and I can't really focus on things for certain for too long obviously you've seen my videos and it's just a lot less stressful when everything doesn't rely on one stream of income and you have multiples that if one dries up you know two more can take its place that that didn't make any sense don't invest in the hype so I lost a lot of money doing this, at least a lot of money for me. And I was really just thinking that I was smarter than like everybody, which is really what you do when you're just picking stocks off of five minutes of research. You're like almost gambling, but you think it's educated, but it's really not. And yeah, I lost a lot of money doing that. And that was until I read this book called The Simple Path to Wealth, which really talks about how investing in low cost index funds is gonna beat the market, and especially people picking stocks like most of the time. And I just didn't believe it at first. And I thought it was smarter and timing the market and all that type of stuff. And yeah, for the most part, like a lot of those investments didn't work out as well. But when I just invest into index funds, all of those have worked out pretty well, actually. And I could have also just saved hundreds of hours of looking at stocks and, and thinking about them and researching by just doing the very simple thing is investing in index funds and not even thinking about it. I just really like to simplify my investing as much as possible for me. Uh, I do it all pretty much on one app now that is Webull. If you guys wanna check them out, you can get up to 12 free stocks valued at up to $30,000. It, it's pretty much uh, just free money for opening up and funding an account with any amount. It's a limited time, so if you wanna do that, you can use the link down in the description. Valuing my own time. So this kind of happens in two different ways. First of all, valuing my time helps me spend less money uh, by saying that maybe if I work for $10 an hour, then if I spend $10 on lunch, it costs me an hour in order to buy that lunch. And that was super helpful for me, except I, I did it a little bit wrong and that was valuing my time at, at $10 an hour, which is what I used to earn. And I didn't really give myself enough value really. And now I try to think of it as whatever I earn, I, I kind of bump it up a little bit to kind of give myself a better mental picture of myself, I guess. Where now I try to value my time at $50 or $100 an hour or more. And that really helps me stay focused at work when I'm like, I'm earning $100 an hour right now. So I really have to work hard for that money as opposed to like $10 an hour, you don't really care, you're not gonna be that motivated. But when you value yourself that way, you work a lot harder, you you be a lot more productive and you end up earning more money because you have a better like almost self-esteem because you're actually valuing yourself, which is something that I didn't do for a really long time. 
Now, another thing I didn't really do was actually writing stuff down. Honestly, it seems like such a small thing, but especially your goals and financial goals, almost every single one I've written down has happened and a lot of the goals I had before just didn't happen. Obviously there's that stat that your goals are like 42% more likely to happen if you write them down. But like it's true, which is super cool. Like when I wrote down, I'm gonna to try to hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of that year, I actually hit it and I, I really didn't think I was going to. And then I did the same thing with 100K and I did the same thing with some income goals and almost everyone I've written down has happened. And like, I don't know how this happens, but actually sitting down and, and writing out some physical goals and putting them somewhere where you can see them every single day really helps me stay motivated and makes them more likely to happen. And it just comes from, you know, writing it down. So I've always been kind of uh, a little bit of an oddball compared to most people I know with the minimalism thing where I don't really spend all that much money. I don't really have all that much stuff. I don't want more stuff. Um, you know, we, we have one car. Most people we know um, that are that are married with a kid have two cars. Uh, just like our entire lifestyle is a, a little bit weird. Even just having a job that nobody else I know, you know, makes YouTube videos. Very few people my age have rentals. Like I'm just a very odd, person compared to most people. And for a long time, I kind of shied away from that. I didn't really like that uh, until I kind of realized that it's okay to be that guy who is obsessed about finances and that's what they talk about, who is really into bettering themselves, who wakes up at 5 a.m., who takes cold showers, who starts side businesses instead of focusing on their career, who doesn't go to college, like whatever it is for you that is that uh, choice that you think is better for yourself. Be okay with being that guy who's just a little bit different. It's fine, it's not a big deal. Don't worry about it, jeez. Actually, I, I don't know why I just took my hat off, but uh, not having a scarcity mentality. I started working at the age of 11 doing office cleaning because we didn't have a lot of money. It was something we needed to do at the time. And I did that all the way up uh, until a couple years ago when I was able to leave my job finally. And because of that and never really growing up with money and then being so frugal, I've kind of always had this scarcity mentality where I didn't uh, overly believe in myself and I also kind of felt like there isn't a lot of money out there and I need to save it and hodl it and worry about it. And it turns out uh, that there's just so much money out there. It's insane. But if you believe kind of like I did that you're not good enough to start a YouTube channel, nobody will ever care. You're not good enough to start a business that no one will buy your stuff, that you're not good enough to get that promotion, to move to a new job, to do whatever it is that you think is a little bit scary, that you don't deserve to be able to travel. You don't deserve to be able to eventually someday get a Tesla, which is something that I've always kind of had problems with is a little bit of self-esteem. Once I was able to break that a little bit, something I'm still working on, I've been able to earn a lot more money and have a lot more confidence in the things that I'm doing, which in turn has made me a lot happier uh, and a lot more successful at them when I'm actually like, you know what, I am decent at this thing and there's enough money to go around. And I don't have to limit myself in my beliefs that I can only make X amount a year. I can shoot for something that's 10 times higher than that and actually have a decent chance of hitting it because I know that I can put in the effort to go there. These other people who are earning 10 times more than me aren't 10 times smarter than me. They just actually took the chance and did that thing which was really scary. So don't even worry about it. Reward yourself and celebrate your progress. Now I started doing this uh, a couple of years ago and it has been really life changing. Like as much as like writing down goals, uh, this really helps me achieve my goals as well. And that's actually rewarding myself and like baiting myself into doing things. Like I was working on a course for a couple months and my reward for launching it was getting myself like a hundred dollar ring because I actually lost all my other rings, I, I don't know where they went. They're around here somewhere. But anyways, I've been putting this off for like six months and using it as a reward to actually finish up this thing that I've been procrastinating for a while and just obsessing over the details, but actually getting it done and putting it out there. A relatively little goal was a huge incentive for me. And I also do this with other things. And now like pretty much whenever I want something, I'm like, all right, what is a goal that I'm kind of close to that I can hit in the next three months that if I have this carrot that I dangle in front of myself, I'll be able to get there a lot sooner have a lot more motivation, I'll have more fun doing it. And a lot of times for me, chasing that reward is almost better than getting it. And also celebrating along the way that yes, I did do this thing and kind of congratulating myself and not always looking for the future helps me at least enjoy the process a lot more. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. You can also check out Hippo with the link down in the description.